Yo! Video games. What up dudes, it's Matt from Yo! Video Games. Our E3 2016 hands-on coverage continues and I guess it's about time to start talking about the fighting games of the show. Now, this is a spin-off from Max's channel, so this is probably what you all really want to hear. And since I can't get any of you guys to give a shit about Zelda coverage, well, let's talk about The King of Fighters 14! So, this has been sort of an underdog, a, a sort of scrappy Cinderella story of a fighting game, an SNK, a beloved fighting game, mostly heavy company from the early to mid 90s, who had a powerful console in 89, but somehow decided to keep pumping games out for it for 13 fucking years. Doesn't really matter because damn, they had some good ass artists and some great fucking pixel and sprite work in back in the day. But then they decided, fuck all that noise, let's go pachinko, and there were some really dark, dark days for SNK fans in the last 10 or so years. But the company decided, well, pachinko is a fucking dead end. They decided to like close shop there and say, hey, we're going to come back to the fighting game genre, and we're going to come back strong. We're going to be number one. Well, King of Fighters 14 is definitely not a looker, but it is a very earnest attempt to make a real big ass fighting game for the current generation of consoles. Well, I guess if that console only includes PlayStation 4 because I think that's the only known system right now. Anyways, King of Fighters 14 has a shit ton of characters in its roster. A good chunk of them were playable on the show floor at E3 this year. And it, yeah, it's, it's coming along nicer. It certainly looks better than the announcement trailer, which was hoo boy bad. Uh, but it still doesn't really look that good. It doesn't look anything that couldn't be done on a 360 PS3 right now. Uh, it, there are many other fighters on last gen that actually already still look better than the game, but whatever, fuck it, you know, it still looks good. I think the biggest problem with the game, maybe not just be the technicality of it, but I think it, it really suffers from the Xenoblade X syndrome, where in particular its female character faces look pretty fucking bad. Now, it's not on the level of just sort of caveman-ish that NetherRealm Studios has, but eh, it just, they got this really weird, pudgy, off-putting, uncanny valley horridness where you take a particular artist's art style and try to make it work in 3D and it just doesn't fucking come together. But all that aside, you're looking at the game from a side view anyway, so you're not really going to be noticing that too much unless it's like a super move or a replay or some shit. But anyways, how does the game fucking play? Well, last time I played this game, it was at the PlayStation Experience back in December, and I had a very, very, very tiny roster. But now I had pretty much what I'm probably going to use as my main cast available and ready for me to use in the game. Now, before I get into exactly how it plays, I have to specify there were two areas to play King of Fighters 14 at Sony's, well, I'm sorry, at E3. One was Sony, and the other was Atlas slash Sega. Now, here's where the problem is. Max has talked about this before, mentioned it during E3 streams and stuff, but the TVs in Sony's booth were set to that, that sort of game mode, or whatever that, that mode is that's made specifically for their brand of TVs, and what it does is it adds a fuck ton of input lag. So, for example, the best way I can really put this is, to do one of Kula Diamond's bread and butter combos into a super, I had to mash the fuck out of it like in the past before you know to actually get it to connect and work so basically you would input the commands way hell early before any of the on-screen moves have happened and basically you would just hope for the best uh, a clear example would be if i do uh, crouching light punch light punch and then a uh, hurricane kick with crack shot with terry i basically had to make sure all of those inputs were in before the first light punch got finished being put out so that being said it was uh, kind of cool to see the new characters as well as some of the, I guess you could call it SNK guest characters. Uh, I used Kula Diamond, um, Nakorodu, specifically for her bird, and Terry Bogart, of course. Um, and it plays and feels and it has the weight and physics of a traditional King of Fighters game. If you've played any of the Ness Saga or the Crimson Ash Saga or anything like that, I think you're going to feel right at fucking home here. They did an outstanding job of making it not feel like Maximum Impact or Street Fighter EX. It, it feels like King of Fighters. Yeah, it's 3D and, and, and yeah, it uses fully polygons and all that, but they did an outstanding job of, of the weight, control, floatiness, even... I can't judge because I really I did not play a whole lot, but the hitboxes of it all feels traditional King of Fighters. So 
I think for, for longtime fans of the series, they're going to have a really easy time getting into this game, which I think is the most important thing because even though it's not like a huge fighting game franchise, it's nice to know that, hey, if you are a longtime fan of the series, you can jump into this game, you can play it, and it's and it's going to work really well. Uh, it's it's a four-button fighter, just like all the old ones, so, you know, Nakaru plays obviously more, more Sam Show than she does CVS2, but that's okay. I was still able to do ground slides. I was still able, you know, to, to grab on and, and and summon and launch my bird at poor Maximilian. But all that being said, it's it's actually shaping up rather nicely, just not visually. But again, it's coming together a lot better than it used to. And it's coming out in like fucking August, I think. So it's it's going to be real short wait now, from now, to getting the game. And again, this is 50 fucking characters. It's got, you know, all these online modes, training modes. It has a story mode. It's, it's you know, as, as someone who kind of always kind of enjoyed King of Fighters a little bit in small moderation from afar, it, it's kind of shocking to see that there's way more effort and earnestness being put into this game than its biggest competitor. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, I don't think, you know, and this is not like just to slam Capcom entirely, but regardless of the reasons for why Street Fighter V turned out the way it did, the game is a train wreck, and if you felt like you were not getting your money's worth with uh, Street Fighter V, or maybe you're one of the people who held off from Street Fighter V because you're like, I just, I don't feel the roster's big enough, you know, I don't feel like I'm getting enough for my bank for my book. Honestly, I tell you, look into King of Fighters 14 because it's probably one of the closest playing games to Street Fighter, and I know that's gonna rub people the wrong way when I say that. Look, when I say King of Fighters 14 is the closest playing to Street Fighter V, I mean in, in the context of Mortal Kombat X and Guilty Gear XR. The Guilty Gear XR and Mortal Kombat X really play nothing like Street Fighter. And King of Fighters plays closer to the Street Fighter style of game than those other two. And if you if you do like that traditional, you know, uh, more methodically paced kind of game, you know, not an air dasher, not not an MK style Nether Realm game, uh, this is gonna this is gonna really uh, probably give you a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, it's just. Just on the roster size alone, I think you're going to get a lot of fun out of King of Fighters 14. Um, and I don't think you really need to worry too much about uh, knowing the characters. Not there's so many characters, and and they kind of cover all kinds of different eras and genres and and styles and designs. So it's like you can't really, you know, you'll, you'll there's something for everyone there. It's like it's not everyone's not either some some meaty potato man, muscle man, or some you know butt hanging out booby chick. Like, there's all kinds of characters uh, from, from a very diverse roster, and that's always been a big strength of SNK, and it's good to see that it's continuing on here. I don't know really how I feel about the brand new characters in this game. Um, I know Max likes the whatever, the Shadow Mist Cuckoo, Cuckoo, whatever, whatever. We'll call him uh, Kukari, whatever, character. He likes him, I'm kind of whatever on the character. Uh, there's some really bizarre other ones, so I'm, I'm really personally disappointed that there's no Rugal. I'm really pr uh, disappointed there's, there's no rock just to have that that sort of classic matchup. Uh, there, there are other SNK characters I, I do wish were, were in the game, but it's okay. You know, I, 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 I'll take what I can get. And with 50, again, you can't go wrong. I've got definitely got three I would love to I, that I do love to play. So everything's good really on that front. So uh, King of Ours, the, you know, turning out a great game. I think, you know, come August, you should definitely check it out if you're a fighting game fan. You don't want to miss it, honestly. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to ever come to anything besides PS4. Maybe there's a Steam version now. I, I think they'd be insane not to have a Steam version at this point. And maybe it's already confirmed, because from what I understand, the Steam sales of SNK games is what has gotten SNK back into gaming. So I, I'm going to say that if there isn't a Steam version announced already, a Steam version is going to be coming. So, yeah. You go get your, get your arcade sticks or controls ready again. You can use control because it's only a four button fight. You don't need to worry about, you know, the three six button fighter of, this, of Street Fighter. So, yeah, get everything ready to go. And, you know, let's end of August, let's get ready to burn to fight or whatever their logo, silly logo for this game is. So, can't wait to play more The King of Fighters 14 with you dudes later. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the channel. Later, dudes.